Okay guys, well the machine is here. I have got a ton of work. I got big plans for this machine this weekend. And as I mentioned previously, I've done some rough layout. I've got some stakes that you see. I haven't squared anything up. This is just rough. These uh, dimensions are larger than the footprint of my shop, so I'll have some room. Is that rooster again? Uh, I'll have some room to play around with uh, getting it squared up. So I'm gonna start cutting into this bank and stripping off uh, a small area that I need to fill. Well, I've pulled the vegetation off the slope there. Now what I need to do is called keying in the fill. And so I'm going to cut a flat bench, almost slightly angled back towards my shop pad and start building a fill from the bottom up. There's gonna be a lean-to on this side of the shop that I wanna be able to park my trailer, my RV on during the winter or during the summer under cover. So I need to, to cut this in so that when I build the fill, it's sitting on a flat, pad to start with. Okay guys, I gotta bring you over here and show you what I'm seeing because in almost 30 years of excavating, I've never seen anything like this. Isn't that weird? It's like Easter egg soil. If you are an expert in such matters, uh, leave a comment and let me know what the heck we're looking at here.
All right, guys, well, that will do it for today. Not a bad start for a couple hours shot with the excavator there. My family and I are headed over to my sister's house for uh, uncontrolled eating, and uh, we'll get back at this tomorrow. Well, guys, it is a new day. I survived Thanksgiving. I can still sort of fit in my clothes. So we're going to get back at it. I'm going to get out my rotating laser and take some shots and start working on leveling out this pad now that I've got the bulk of the dirt excavated. Now, if you're not familiar with what a rotating laser is, basically you set up that head unit and when you turn it on, it automatically levels itself. And once it's level, the reflector starts spinning and basically it's shooting out a flat plane of a laser beam, which is picked up by this receiver and I have this much range here to pick up the beam. So I'll move this up and down the grade rod and I'll get a, a steady tone once I pick up level. It'll beep fast if I'm too high and it'll beep slow if I'm too low and I'll have a steady beep if I am right on grade. So I'm going to take a shot on my I'm going to take a shot around the area, find the lowest point, and then set up on that. And that will allow me to dig around all the high spots and make everything flat. Now, I believe that corner to be my lowest. So I've set the sliding tape. To zero and now when I go around if I'm in the blue and catching the beam I know that I've got a fill and if I'm in the red and I'm catching the beam I know I've got a cut so if I truly have found the lowest point everything I shoot from here on out should be in the red All right, so as I had figured, that is the lowest point. Over in that corner is a foot and a half higher almost. Uh, about a foot higher and about six inches higher in this corner. So I'll start cutting out and establishing a couple of points that are actually on grade. And that way I can eyeball between the, the points that I have to grade and carry grade throughout the whole pad.
All right, now that I have three spots to grade, turned off the laser and I'm just gonna dig between them and match them all up and just start working everything towards the low side. Well guys, it's Saturday morning. I've got one full day left with the excavator before it goes away tomorrow morning. I've got the bulk of the excavation done, which is great because it started to rain a little bit. We're not expecting much, but I'm just going to lay out the building corners and make sure that uh, I've got all the room I need while I've got the big excavator. And once I get done with that, I've got some logs that I wanna move and get over to the mill uh, to start making some lumber for this thing. And I'll be discussing what I'm actually building. A couple of you have asked what, what kind of building I'm going to build, and uh, you may not expect the answer, but we'll talk about it. All right, guys, bear with me. The rooster's out. I know he's going to want to make an appearance. So what I've laid out is 40 feet by 42 feet. And what this is going to be is a shipping container, wood frame, metal sided roofed hybrid shop. So I'm going to put a shipping container down that side, down that side, and likely I'm going to stack two shipping containers on each side, and I'm gonna have a 26 foot open floor in the middle, which will be concrete. And my goal is to have a drive-through on this side, I'll have a door at each end, so I can drive through, pull my RV in and through. On the far side, I'll have a 14 foot wide lean to that I can park my trailer under during the summer on this side on this side I want to have a, a regular size garage door with a car hoist inside so that I can uh, well work on whatever I want to with a car hoist the reason I want to try this shipping container idea is 
cost mostly but right off the bat i'm gonna have instant dry storage when those first two shipping containers get here so i'm gonna pour concrete footings at each end for the shipping container to actually sit on I'll have gravel between them and i don't know if i'll stack the shipping containers before i put the slab in i most likely will because i'll probably have to get either a large boom lift or a big excavator to pick that 40 foot shipping container that weighs 8,000 pounds and set it on each side. That'll give me a 19 foot ceiling inside the shop and that should be pretty awesome. 